My system for harvesting and bagging is still developing. It's changed a lot over the years. When I started out, I had this single huge mound <laughs> at the inside of a greenhouse. It was too tall, it was too wide, lots of problems, but I really learned a lot. Inside the greenhouse, I had this little sifter. I made it myself. It has a quarter inch screen attached, and then it had inserts of smaller diameters so that I could do a fine or a chunky sift. I had it set up kind of like a porch swing. The sifter was attached to two chains that were suspended from the spine of the greenhouse. <laughs> it must have been something to see from the outside. But on the inside, it worked well. The chains took all of the weight, so it was a relatively easy way to sift castings. The problem is, as I looked down into it, I saw the worms sliding back and forth across the wire. Someone could tell me that these soft, pink, fleshy bodies go through that process unharmed, but I don't believe it. I want the worms to work for me, but it shouldn't be a death sentence. So I've developed this method where I use migrating screens. You see that little screen right there by my left hand? I'm migrating that section right now. I have videos on how I set that up. I'll attach them at the end, but that screen lays on top of the castings. There is a layer of chopped apples with a little bit of dirt for grit and a layer of leaves. I keep that area moist and let everything else go a little dry. And the worms, just by nature, go toward the moisture and the food. This is actually step one. This is one of my repeat customers and she likes her order chunky. Everything in here is covered with microbes and it's all good. The organic material going into the plants, that's a great thing, especially microbe covered organic material. The first migration does a great job of removing the worms, but what it leaves behind is all of the cocoons. And you have to be careful with that when you're selling your castings because selling your cocoons is selling your future generations and over time it can deplete your worm stock. So I have these finishing boxes. This one is standing on its side. You can see that it's a wire bottom. If you look behind it, you see there's a lid. I add a layer of damp leaves and then I fill the box with the finished castings. And over the course of three weeks or so, all of the cocoons that are in these castings will hatch and all those babies will head straight for the apples. It's a different flow, this method. It takes longer, but if you cooperate with that flow, I personally find it a very effective way to move the worms out of the medium. I'm not saying it's better, I'm saying this is how I do it. Frankly, if you're out there composting, if you're worm farming, if you're putting your food scraps in your garden, if you're raking your leaves and building soil in any way, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's keep going. Have you heard of the soil food web? The gut biome has been prominent in the news these days. Probiotics, prebiotics, the soil has a biome just like our stomach. Consider this bag to be yogurt for the garden. Are you familiar with Dr. Elaine Ingham? One of the things you wanna ask yourself is, is this soil or is this dirt? When we're talking about soil, it has to have all of the food web organisms in it, and it needs to have some organic matter as well. When I look at the color of this field, this recently tilled field, I get a little concerned because this is not the rich, dark brown, 70% cocoa chocolate color that I want to see. What's lacking? Soil Food Web School. The entire Soil Food Web is in this bag. Everything in here is alive. So this is how I pull two orders. If I have all of my ducks in a row and set myself up properly, I can turn out a bag about every 10 minutes. This is a gentle, easy, efficient system. I use sandbags because they're breathable and they're resistant to mold and mildew. I get 20 bucks a bag 
I also give a bulk price to local folks who are buying larger quantities, a yard or more. So that's it. That's two bags. I'll drag these over and park them in the shade. My customer will be here later this afternoon. <laughs> See ya.